Let's take a moment to catch everybody up on COVID-19 and the pandemic. Here to do that is Dr. Matt Maslanka, an intensivist at Bryan Medical Center. Dr. Maslanka, welcome very much. Thanks for being on Speaking Nebraska. Thank you. Um, so you work a lot uh, with the most critically ill patients uh, in the ICU, and we've read and heard those horror stories about what went on in New York City at the peak of the pandemic and, and how uh, they were just completely overwhelmed. What was the situation like in your ICU at the peak of the pandemic? Well, for us, uh, it wasn't quite that drastic, thankfully, but we did run into issues with being um, at that breaking point or, or at least making plans for that based upon the amount of, of ill patients that came in all at once, it seemed. This was in November to uh, early December mm -hmm. and things were uh, difficult to manage. Just the, the vast number really was the hardest part. But um, thankfully we didn't ever have to ration care or make any of those decisions that you hear about in Italy or New York. Um, so, and the numbers have gotten much better. Yeah, so right about that time you're talking about in December, you told the Lincoln Journal Star uh, that uh, you were worried about the uncertainty of treatment of COVID patients we're getting. And you asked, is that because of a change of exposure or is it because we're uh, being stressed as providers, not giving the same standard of care? And I hate to say that, but uh, I don't know. Something's happening where the patients are becoming more sick. So that was back in December. What's the situation like now? Much improved? Well, <clears throat> I would say that our ability to, to treat and understand the specific physiologic changes that are happening with COVID is much more understood now. Um, as far as, like an example, early on, we used to have a, a very quick uh, decision to intubate or to put a tube down and put someone on mechanical ventilation. Nowadays, we know that that might not be the best answer. And so we've hold off on that until we absolutely have to. So things like that, uh, different treatment options and preventative, uh, or I guess, early on treatments are something that's been a huge game changer as far as people not having those serious complications up front, but talking to their primary care provider and getting uh, the treatments that they need, something called BAM therapy or an infusion that has stopped people from becoming that seriously ill. I want to ask you about the vaccination process as well. Uh, so far, nearly 80,000 Nebraskans, more than 5% of the eligible population have had both doses of the COVID-19 vac vaccination. How do you feel that's going, that the whole process, is it working smoothly? Yeah, I would say so. Logistically, uh, things are, uh, it's really inspiring to see, you know, the amount of teamwork and all hands on deck type of mentality to get this going. I know Pinnacle Bank is expecting over 7,000 folks to be vaccinated this weekend. Um, it's been, you know, an incredible thing to be a part of, but I think that in our community, we've done a great job of getting the resources that we need, the human resources and volunteers that we need to get the shots into folks' arm. But you know, our job as providers also is to, to bring awareness about how important it is to get the vaccine and to really highly advocate for all of our patients as soon as they are registered and able to get it done, get it done in a timely fashion. And just a quick answer in 10 seconds or so, do you feel like, do you feel positive about where we're moving? We're in the right direction? Yes, I do. The trajectory is is a very positive one, and and it's like even today, uh, I'm working at some of the long-term acute care hospitals, and we don't get to see many of these, but a patient that was there for over 60 days was able to be discharged. And so we have a send-off where we have uh, all of the, the staff get together and clap and have signs, and it was a very emotional thing, but those positive experiences yeah. should become more often. That's great to see. Yeah. Uh, doctor, really appreciate you being in with us today. Thanks so much. Thank you. If you have questions about vaccines, you can check out the Frequently Asked Questions section at brianhealth.org slash vaccine. And you can follow the NET News coverage of the COVID-19 pandemic at netnebraska.org slash coronavirus.